opening every version of these mystery packs that I own in an attempt to see if we can pull some old school vintage Pokemon packs. Wait, actually. Oh, oh, they just, we got, oh, I definitely did not see that coming. This is 30 mystery packs, and each of these have been released over the last three years, starting in the year 2021 all the way through to 2023. I thought, why not try and see if we can get vintage packs from throughout the year? All right, good old MJ Holdings is back, but this is going to be interesting because we're going to start with the oldest version. This is the 2021 edition where chase packs were seeded one in five, and I think I had the best luck on these ones by far. And this one was on the back there. You can see 2021. Then after that, we'll actually move into this one which was 2022 release, but they changed it to Chase Back Seed at 1 in 10, and these are newer, so usually the older ones probably have better packs just in general, but we'll see, we'll see. And this is the newest one, also Seed at 1 in 10, but as you can see, 2023 on the back, and there's like a card sticking out on the side of that one. All right, let's do these in sets of three. So I think what I want to do is I want to start with three of these, then we'll move into 2022 and then 2023, um, just so we can get like a feel for each of these. So these ones have been crazy to me, over the years it depends which ones you find because they printed these throughout the years some of them are better than others but let's see i guess what the first thing would be is the loose card wait there's there's more than one loose card does it say you get a code card i oh yeah okay so these ones you got a code card so that's uh sun and moon roaring heat okay i don't know if that's just like a theme deck or something but then our other card is a toga tomorrow and that is from 2019 okay all right but our pack our pack Let, let's hope this is a good one our first pack Okay, it's actually Burning Shadows. Yo, that's actually solid. I'm, I'm going to take that. Dude, that's not bad. These ones are definitely the most expensive ones if you are looking at them. Um, I don't even know how much they are, but they, they're, 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 they've gone up a bit because they're just older. And even the normal packs, like that might just be a normal pack that is thrown in here. Um, but like nowadays, that's still older. It's like 2017. You can get the Rainbow Charizard. I will lose my mind if we get a Rainbow Charizard. Lucario Hollow, not bad. But yeah, these can be good or they can be bad because they reused the packaging on these over the years quite a bit. So we might have got a good uh, a good thing of these. So let's see. Okay. So our code card is also Pikachu, Libre, and Suicune X and Y kit. And then we have a Golem, which is actually 2019 as well. I have gotten really lucky and one of the bonus cards in some of these has been like full arts before, but it's pretty tough to get that. And our pack. Oh, we got an Ultra Prism. Yo. Okay. Look. I will take that. If you have these sitting around, they could be good. But the thing is, if you're going to buy them off of like eBay or something, they could be kind of expensive. But we got an Ultra Prism? That's that's not bad. That's a lot better than just like the most modern sets. Sneasel, Magnemite, Toxicroak, and a Type Null. Wait, I have opened crazy stuff from these before. I have opened... I've pulled like Shining Legends from these before. I've pulled like... I've even pulled a Vintage Pack from these. But it, believe it or not, but it it's like a lot. But anyway, Hood Card is uh, Lycanroc GX Box. And then... A Dodrio from 2014. That's actually kind of old. All right, but let's see what our card is. Our pack. It is... is that Burning Shadows again? Burning... Bro, I'll take another Burning Shadows. All right, watch this. Watch this. I'm going to get Rainbow Charizard. I'm going to get a Rainbow Charizard right now. All right, here we go. We're going to go four from the back on this one. Let's see what we get. Let's get something cool out of here. Either way, okay, it's cool to open Burning Shadows, Ultra Prism, and whatever else, whatever else we're going to get. And a non hollow. All right, let's take a break from those and let's move up to the 2022 edition. I don't really remember exactly what was pulled in these when I did open them, um, but let's find out, I guess. Let's see, let's see what we got. Also, really quickly, I wanted to let you know that I'm going to be giving away a sealed set of these to one subscriber here on the channel. So if you want to get the giveaway, all you have to do is number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, leave a comment down below in the comment section. All right, so let's reveal what we have here. We have the Groudon Celebrations card. So as you can see, a little bit newer, right? But can we get an older pack? We do have an Evolving Skies. I'll actually take an Evolving Skies. That's better than just like a base pack or whatever from Sword and Shield or like a Rebel Clash pack. Um, what am I doing? Four, right? Yes. All right. Psychic Energy. Now, the main goal today is definitely to see if we can pull a vintage pack out of these things. That would be like the main goal. Ooh, okay. Garados V. That's actually pretty off-center too, as you guys can see on the back of that one. All right. Yes. Yeah, so, this is the 2022 edition. You used to find these at Walgreens and stuff like that. Let's see what we have here. So, yeah, they changed the odds. We got <laughs> another celebrations and another Evolving Sky. So, that's fine. No, Evolving's not bad, but yeah. It says 1 in 10, by the way. We don't, you don't really know, I guess, for sure if they're actually doing that or not or what the chase pack is. But, I mean, 
is worth a shot. These are third party. Keep that in mind. There's, there's like no rules with that. You know what I mean? They just kind of do what they do. Anyway, we got one more of these and then we're going to move on to the newer edition. But we're going to go back and forth. Then we'll go back to the older ones as well because remember, I got 10 of each of these. Well, we'll just see what it is. It's a Darkness of Blaze pack and a Kyogre Celebrations card. All right. Well, we're getting... I guess those are hollows, technically, even though you get them in every pack of celebrations. Better than a reverse, I guess. Uh, but let's see what we get out of darkness. Lunatoes, that's cool. We're, we're going to see packs from all different generations. I feel like we might have a decent chance at a vintage pack, though. Like, if anything, we have a decent chance at one with, with these ones. These have been the best ones, definitely. Like, by far. And honestly, these ones might have been the worst ones that I've seen. These are the newest ones. The card's sticking. It's actually coming out of the packaging, just about. All right, let's see what happens here. So, oh, wait a second. Burning Shadows was in that? That's actually pretty fire. And then, ooh, this is stuck. I, oh, no, please don't. Uh, it got glued. Oh, my God. When they glued it, they glued the card. Please do not be something amazing. I'm going to cry. This card is destroyed, whatever it is. All right, what is it going to be? What is it going to be? Woo! Noctail. Sorry, buddy. You have been destroyed. Oh, my God. Okay, that is just... That ain't that. You cannot fix that. You can't fix I gotta that. say, I'm a little bit shocked to see a Burning Shadows in this 2023 edition. I've opened these up before, and I don't even think I got anything but uh, Sword and Shield when I opened them. But maybe this was a nice batch. They were feeling generous here. Or maybe that's the Chase Pack. The 1 in 10 was a Burning Shadows. Nope. I hope that wasn't a Chase Pack, because... Uh, Oh, wait. Hold on. What is happening right now? Is that another? Dude, that's actually kind of sick. We got so much Burning Shadows. What is happening? That's actually kind of cool. I was not expecting to pull Burning... I thought we were going to get all Sword and Shield from these things. Okay, let's see what else happens then. We got... I think we might have a chance at something cool here today. I don't know why. I just got a feeling. Just judging by all the cool stuff that we've pulled so far. I mean, pack-wise anyway. Um, I feel like we got a chance at something. Wingle, get out of here. And... Dude, what is this? I've never seen so many Burning Shadows packs in these. Have you guys seen this before? That's so strange. All right. I mean, if we keep getting Burning Shadows packs, we keep getting chances at the Charizard, the Rainbow Charizard. Bro, imagine that. Oh, Dust Nor Hollow. All right, let's switch it back up again. We're, we're going back to the oldest ones, which in theory, I guess, should have the best packs. Probably. Let's see, though. Okay. So we got the code card. That's a Legacy Evolution pin collection. I don't think I've ever heard of that. And then we got a Tauros from 2019? 2019, okay. And the pack. It's a Burning Shadows kind of day. I don't know what it is. Burning Shadows was one of the most printed sets. Um, a lot of people don't actually know that. But it was the first set that had a Rainbow Charizard. So they printed it a ton. Uh, but not as much as like evolutions, but it is way up there. It's, it's one of the most printed sets That's why you'll see burning shadows thrown around But it's always cool just because you know you have a chance every time you open up one that you might maybe get a rainbow Charizard uh, Okay, so yeah, it's just re reverses. Uh, we have an evolutions code card if you guys want to grab that and then <laughs> All right now it's getting a little bit. It's been a little too much now. Give me a little bit of variety here Unless you're gonna give us a Charizard. It's turning into a burning shadows opening. All right this just... Well, there you go. We got to skip that. That. Toxic Croak. Ooh, we got the Alolan Muk GX. That's actually probably the best pull so far today. All right, but this is a cool little experiment. Let me know what you guys think. Which one's going to have the best pulls or best packs or both? All right, we got a... Co we actually got a hollow. A Cosmog Black Star promo. Wait, actually, it is. Oh, oh, they just... Steam Siege. Steam Siege! Unfortunately, this is one of the least popular sets of all time. Although, it's aged kind of nicely. I feel like it's not as bad as it used to be, or at least what people thought it was back back then. There's still some cool artworks. Definitely, like, a lot of the commons and uncommons are cool. Like that Chimchar, Special Charge, and a Yon Mega. Doing a little science experiment here. All right, we're trying to see which one of these actually, what, why is that not, okay. Oh, well, there it is. It's an Evolutions pack and a Palk Evolutions. Evolving Skies. Evolving Skies. I do that probably more often than I even realize. Does anybody else do that? All right. Evolving Skies. It's just the E. I don't know why. I've done it probably a million times by now. Easily. All right. So, these ones we have seen a bunch of 
Evolving skies. But the question now is, what else can we get? Is it all going to be similar? Another darkness ablaze on this one. And then it's just like a celebration. They don't even give you the code cards on them anymore. They don't give you the code cards, and they make the chase packs 1 in 10. So the oldest ones had the best chase, I guess, pull rate or whatever. Whatever a chase pack is. They don't say what that is. Ducklet, ducklet, blazing. Duck, duck, blaziken. Okay. Ready? This one. Can we get a vintage pack? I don't even know if you can get. Actually, I think about it. Can you even get a vintage pack in these? Look for vintage packs. Apparently, you can. First edition gym challenge. Yeah, right. We actually, we have a battle styles now. All right, we're kind of going downhill a little bit. We went to Steam Siege. Now we went to battle styles. Let's see if we get something good out of here, though. Spoink, Cacne, a blip bug. Nope. All right, we're moving on to the 2023 edition again. And then we're going to go back probably one more time through to see which one of these has the best. Okay, so these ones, they were burning shadows the whole time. Now we're just got a darkness of blaze in them randomly. They're so random, but also I got these from different sources. So like some could have been from different print runs of these versus another one. So like you could have better versions of these and worse versions of these, I guess is the, the correct term. Let's see. Vanilla Del Caddy. So far, I think the oldest ones have been my favorite as of now. Oh, more dark. It's so weird. They just, it's coming in waves now. It's like now we got a bunch of darkness in these, even though we were just getting burning shadows in them. I don't understand that. But yeah, these are random. They're third party. Uh, company that just puts packs together. You don't even know really where they get the packs. So hopefully, like, they're all good. Honestly, we have opened a bunch and we only got two. We got a GX and a V card. Why is it like this? Now they're all darkness. It's so random. We had three burning shadows, I think, in a row from these. And now we have three darkness. That's a bad sign. I'm going to go straight through this one then. But it did have a hit. Darkness is so weird. Sometimes you get hits in the green coat. All right, so we have another three. And then after that, since it's 10, it was uneven, right? So what I'm going to do is at the last, like, round of these, we'll do one of each to end this thing. Uh, but we got one more three packs of each round of these. And it, okay, we're just going, it's just going to be a Burning Shadows day again. Um, so there's our code cards. They're all different. Charizard EX box. I swear, every single one from these has been completely random. All right. Burning Shadows, baby. It's just the most brutal set to open. You know, you barely get hits from it, but everybody just wants to see if they could chase that rainbow Charizard. And like, I pulled it one time years ago. Years ago. Basically a baby rev back then. But we pulled it, it was it was ridiculous. It was so long ago, it was probably three years ago at least. And uh, it was just crazy. And I opened a ton of packs to make that happen. It wasn't just like a handful. It was so many packs, dude. I couldn't believe when I pulled that thing. And it was upside down in the packs. For whatever reason, a lot of my Burning Shadows packs had cards upside down, like the rares anyway. They're actually the rainbows. For some reason, most of them are upside down. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So technically, we have two more of these. All right, let's see. Oh, well, okay. That's Burning Shadows, isn't it? Burning, Burning. They should just put every pack as Burning Shadows on the front of that. That would be more accurate. But can we get something from Burning Sh Oh, no. That's going to be probably a no. We'll see what happens. These are fun though, just like, don't, if you don't take them too seriously, they can be fun. Uh, Tertonata. If you buy it and you, you expect to get like, what's on the front, you're gonna be pretty upset, because that doesn't happen. <laughs> like, uh, I could tell you it doesn't happen pretty much ever. Well, it's like, I don't know, like that, that in here is like not ever gonna happen. I don't even know it's possible. Uh, Fortress, which is kind of like, Pretty scammy if you ask me. Like, if you're going to put that on the front, you have to, like, uh, yeah, I don't like that at all. I, I hate that stuff. I hate that stuff. Katnia, Evie, Cramorant, VMAX, one of the only pulls we got today. Unbelievable. It has been really bad on the pulls. What the heck is happening? So, we've opened 20, 24 packs, I want to say. And, uh, oh, okay. 24 packs is a battle styles. And, uh, we only got two. A V, a regular V, not even a full art or anything. A regular V, a regular GX, and a VMAX cram ramp. That is some bad pulls. Bad pulls. Well, here we go. Let's see. And most of these, I don't think you could buy most of these in stores anymore. Ooh, Evolving Skies and an Ampharos. You can. Actually, the newest one that we're going to open up next, you can, I think. Those are new, so you can get those, obviously. 
but uh, the other ones, definitely not the, the 2020 version, 2021 version, whatever. Yeah, 2021 version, no. Hit my chin! Rigid Dragon. Okay, so here it is. We got the final round of three of these. And then we got one more round with these. Just the, just the three like that. All right. Let's see what we can do. Well, it looks like darkness is back again. It has been a burning shadows and darkness ablaze kind of day right now. And bombing skies, I guess, too. Non-hollow? And no hits! Come on, we just get... Some days we are so lucky! Alright. Uh, Shining Fates? Dude. I, I wouldn't, if I pull the Shiny Charizard from an MJ Holdings pack... That would just be the funniest thing ever, I think. All right, here we go. That would be so funny. I would just laugh. Cat, out of all these years of trying to pull it, if I got it from this thing, I would just straight up laugh. Nope. We got this one, and then we're gonna do the final trio. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's Burning Shadows is back. All right, all right, all right. The ultimate goal. The ultimate goal, the Charizard. The ultimate goal. Let's see if we can do it. Whoops. Even just a regular, uh, GX Charizard would be all right with me. Or a rainbow. Or anything from Burning Shadows. Anything better than a hobble. We'll take a Borgon Z. All right, final round time. Here we go. We have the three of them. One of each. Let's see what happens. And if it's going to be Burning Shadows, Darkness of Blaze, uh, and Evolving Skies, that would be my guess. Let's see what happens. Burning Shad... Oh, wait, no. That might be Ultra Prism. I think that's Ultra Prism. That's actually... Okay. It's actually Ultra Prism. Um, there's a cool in code card there. Turquoise Reverse. Surprisingly, out of almost all of them being Burning Shadows, we got an Ultra Prism on this one. Let's see if we get something. So I don't think that's considered Chase Packs on any of those, but it is. Since they're older, it's not just all Sword and Shield sets, which is kind of cool. But we have a Shaman. We'll actually do it in this order because this one's the newer one. So this one... Uh, I'm gonna say Vobbing Skies. There we go. I got one right actually. Trap Inch. So these are kind of predictable. No vintage packs. Nothing even close to being like a super old school pack. But let's see if we get something. We need a hit because uh, hits have been pretty sad today, to be honest with you. But that's just how it is. We got. Oh! Oh, wow. One of the best Evolving Skies cards you could possibly get. All right. I'm cool with that. I'll take it. I definitely did not see that coming. And then the last pack here. Uh, this one's going to be Darkness Ablaze. Oh, oh, man. I almost got them all right. That curveball. That curveball on the other one. I almost got them all right. Okay. Let's see if we get our last booster pack here. If you guys enjoy daily Pokemon card content, why not subscribe to the channel? It's free, and giveaways are almost daily here. Make sure to smash the like button, all that good stuff. Let's get some last pack Magic Magiruski here. Magiruski. OPC in a non hollow. All right, guys, but that is going to do it. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to smash the like button on your way out. If you want more content, click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.